Okay. So let's do a video on my Kate Spade planner collection. I have eight planners to show you that are Kate Spade. Yes, eight planners that are Kate Spade, and I'll try to show you in the order that I have them. Um, it should be a really quick video. It's just a collection video of the Kate Spade planners. So, um, the order that I acquired them. Um, okay. So, my first planner ever was the, let me move these. My first planner ever that started it, and the planner that started it is this Kate Spade with the um, white um, stitching. It, it's from to the 2014 collection. So here it is. All the planners have the same layout. Only the two newest ones that I've acquired, um, I've purchased, um, have the different colored tan leather, non-tan leather in the inside in the inside. Sorry about that. So this is a 2014 one and I fell in love with it after watching my planners um, video and I'll link the video that I watched down below that really started this off. This is inserts from I think this dashboard is I think it's from like 2009 or something like that. I'm not sure 2012 but it's not the recent one. I just have it in here because it came with another planner that I have. So um, this planner definitely started. I had to get it shipped. I think I have the card in here. Yeah, I had to get it shipped to me. So I can tell you the day I purchased it because the receipt's in here. So I purchased it in October 2014 from a... Hate Spade store in in Texas still. I'm in Texas, but it was in Texas City, which is down south. And at the time, I paid um it was ninety nine dollars, but um there was five dollars to ship to me, so it was one hundred and four plus the eight fifty eight in taxes, which made it one twelve. So that was that planner and how much it cost and when I purchased it. Every other planner, I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly every detail. I don't remember all of it. I have quite a few and I've sold quite a few of them. So this is the planner that started it all. Um, I, I really loved this planner. So this one was um, 2014, October. The next Kate Spade was either this one, I think it was this one, later on in October was this red one, and this is the 2015 collection uh, with this pink interior here, but with the tan, and it just currently stores some daily inserts and stuff like that, but... I love the red. I'm not in love with this pink inside. Like I, I don't, I don't like the fact that they basically clash. So I've only used it for a short period of time. But I, I do like the red in the outside. And then the next one is definitely this one. These two around the same time, so I'm not 100% sure. But this one, I definitely, and this one, I was able to purchase in a store, I think, in San Diego. Or something like that and they shipped it to me I don't remember how much I paid I think I paid full price because I was one of the first to order it so I think I paid like 112 or something like that and then this one I got off of eBay for around 50 or 60 bucks it's a Deborah Tudor I believe and I don't know something's on there I can't get it off right now I don't want to scratch it but um, it's a Deborah Tudor I believe so Kate Spade has gone back to this design down here um, on the new planners, not at the outlet, on the actual website. So, but it's zip around still. So, but with this, this particular logo, it doesn't have the little badge on top anymore. Um, same layout of the planners, but this has a different polka dot interior. And then the block, which I think is very nice also, and I really like it. Um, the rings are still shiny in this one. And this one, the rings make noise, like, do you hear that? 
and they're not quite as shiny as these rings down there and then definitely not as shiny as these rings here so if you can kind of tell so um, definitely bought this on eBay I should have bought the, the pocket size which is the small size when I saw it in the same print um, and color even though green's not my favorite, I still really love this planner. I like how smooth it is. It feels really nice. Um, it's just a really lovely planner. And then the next one was this one. And this is an old Kate Spade. So it is beat up. You can tell. And I bought it pretty beat up like this. And I used this one for a while also. The rings on this one are slightly smaller. But the rings are so shiny on this. It's really nice. It has a gold, rose gold interior. But the same layout um, in here. Yeah, same layout. And it's just holding some extra inserts and some dividers. Um... I think I got it for like 20 bucks, and I think this is the one that's from like 2008 uh, or something around there, but it's a Kate Spade ring bound planner also, and I definitely don't know the name of this one, even if I tried. So the next one is the Rose Gold here. This was around September, October of last year, so 2015. And like I said in the other video, I just put tabs on from Miss Winda's blog. I got um, the silhouette file for that. I haven't used it, so it doesn't lay flat or anything like that. Um, same layout, tan interior. Now, this is the last planner I have with the tan interior. So I have five zip arounds. So then I have the, I think it's called Cabaret Pink is what it's called and it has the pink interior here and the light pink lining now this is my favorite color combination um, I think it looks really classy really nice and it's a good contrast and they're not clashing so I, like I said in the other video I will be selling these inserts um, this planner was $198 but I didn't pay that. I got it on sale. And then the last one I have is the black one with the black stitching. So let me show you the 2014 one. So this is 2014 with the white stitching and the tan interior. And this is the uh, 2016 one with the black stitching. So, I mean, they look virtually identical. Um... But this one is has the black. I think there's also one. There's a black one with tan interior and the pink in the inside from this year. So this is 2000, the, the 2015 version. But I don't own that one since it looked just so similar to my black one. And this one is way different because it not only is the lining different, but the, also the leather in the inside is different. Like I said, I will be selling this insert also. So yeah, that is my complete collection of all of my Kate Spades. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Um, but if you have any other questions, let me know. I do have seven Kate Spades in total. Thanks so much. Bye.